Save the Frogs was founded by Dr. Kerry Krieger in 2008 and is the world's leading amphibian conservation organization. Amphibians are the most threatened vertebrate group on the planet. Nearly one-third of the world's 6,485 species of amphibians face extinction. In the last 30 years, 200 species of amphibians have gone extinct. This is thousands of times faster than natural extinction rates. Because amphibians are sensitive to environmental changes and pollutants, they're great bioindicators and serve as a canary in a coal mine when it comes to assessing environmental stress. Unfortunately, this means that they are also the first to start declining when a pressure, particularly from human activity, is introduced. Save the Frog's mission is to protect amphibian populations and promote a society that respects and appreciates nature and wildlife. Jerry Pelsinski and Corey Elwood are both longtime supporters and volunteers of Save the Frogs. They both obtained bachelor's of science degrees in wildlife management and worked for several years in a variety of field research positions all across the country. However, their main passion and career goals lie in the areas of conservation and public outreach. This led to their decision to start a Master's of Fine Arts program in filmmaking in Los Angeles, California. They hope to use their knowledge of both the scientific and film communities to create works that are both entertaining and educational to general audiences and to promote sustainability and conservation. They are now working with Save the Frogs to produce a public service announcement to help promote the organization's efforts to ban the pesticide atrazine. So, it's up to you to save the frogs. And one way we can do that is to ban atrazine, one of the most commonly used pesticides on the planet. Consistently turns up in American groundwater, rainwater, tap water, and has already been linked to increased cancer rates in communities surrounding high-use atrazine areas. Numerous peer-reviewed scientific publications from laboratories around the world have demonstrated that atrazine is extremely harmful to environmental and public health. The vast majority of the world's amphibian biologists agree that atrazine is extremely harmful to amphibians. When sprayed, significant quantities of atrazine are lifted into the air where they get carried by clouds potentially hundreds of miles from their point of application. Half a million pounds of atrazine come down onto American soil each year via rain and snow. As the jet stream carries the pesticides eastward from the Midwest Corn Belt, the millions of Americans living in the Mid-Atlantic region, the most densely populated area of our country, become exposed to unwanted atrazine ingestion. Atrazine was banned in the European Union in 2004 because it was consistently being detected in European tap water. The USDA conducted tests in 2008 and 2009 to determine if atrazine was present in American water. 94% of the samples they analyzed of American tap water were contaminated with atrazine, with enough atrazine to turn a male frog into a female. There exists far too much scientific literature detailing the harmful effects of atrazine to ever be able to assure Americans that atrazine is safe in our air, water, and food. The PSA that we want to create will spread awareness about the harmful effects of atrazine and encourage others to help in the effort to get it banned in the U.S. It will start off with a stereotypical school dance scene in which the majority of the guys and girls mingle separately from one another on opposite sides of the room. As we move through the crowd to the guy's side, one of the guys makes an abrupt gender change from male to female. Confused, he awkwardly makes his way across the room. With increasing frequency, more of the guys begin to make this gender switch and follow the first over to the girl's side until the former guy's side is completely empty. This creates a different approach to promoting an environmental issue by playing on elements of comedy and by applying atrazine's effects on frogs to a fictitious scenario in which the same results happen to people. Through this, we will create a PSA that the general public can relate to and inspire people to seek more information about our efforts and take action. The money raised through this fundraiser will compensate for the production costs of the PSA. It will allow us to secure a location for the shoot, cover equipment and transportation costs, and feed the cast and crew during the shoot day. With your support, we can bring this project to life, and your contributions will help Save the Frogs achieve its goal to spread awareness of the harmful effects of atrazine and to ultimately get the pesticide banned.